Take that one. Alright. I don't see anything over there, so I'll let them eat, the, eat their corpse. And get the hell out of here. Come on. Out of the water. Oh, God, motherfucker. Let me out. There we go. Woo. Journal. Okay. Oof. Aw. I'm gonna leave them be. Street. No, there isn't. I guess you're going. They hide things all over the fucking place. Alright then. Ah, sorry, friend. I'm gonna need this. God, sorry. Hell itchy here. There we go. Give me all that. Alright, we're already good. Ah. Alright. We'll lead them away. With some breadcrumbs. Huh. Turn, 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 turn. No matter what, the rats are gonna get through there, so we have to keep we have to gather before they see us. Attention, Dunwall citizens. The assassin Corvo, responsible for the murder of our fair empress and the disappearance of Lady Emily, heir to the throne, huh? has temporarily escaped from custody. Any evidence? Temporarily, huh? Ah, uh, sure. Whatever. I'll be sure to turn myself in. No one will keep us from death. Uh, you cannot kill the rat plague. Hmm. Well, that's disturbing. Jump! Okay, more loot. Give me that. And there. Ooh, more stuff. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give We'll go over this time instead of going forward. Because there's a trap back here. Hi. Give me all this. Don't see anything else. Tripwire. I trigger it manually or disable it. If I go over there. Is there a tripwire I need to get? All this. Good, doing good. God, I love this game. No, not yet. Ha! <laughs> that was funny. Alright, disable that trap. Disabling the traps, by the way, gives you incendiary bolts, which are, um, not really helpful if you're going for a clean hands run. Helpful if you want to kill things, though. That trap. That's where we're shot at. Hey, mate. Ah, oh, gods. We do that though. That corpse. Hemlock essence. Hmm. Thank you. Okay, what we got here? <clears throat> Greetings, Corvo, or should I say, Lord Protector? As you were known before, the title was wrongfully taken from you. We are servants of the Empire and the True Empress. A group of loyalists who want very much to meet you. Take these weapons, crafted for you of the finest materials in the aisle, and meet with our man Samuel near where these tunnels spill out into the Raven River. Raven River? Yeah. Sounds weird. All haste and luck, we share a common purpose. Bakishin. Ooh, pretty. Also clothing, I'm assuming. Nice. 
Oh, it's a gorgeous little switchblade. Yeah. Okay. Open, open. Sprint and slide. Hold circle slide a little longer. Do that. Okay, I'm gonna read this because it's actually important. Jelly, if you care, if you're too daft to remember, look to your whiskey for the answer. Whiskey, got it? If you want to share, you'll sort it out. If not, I'll come back for it next month. So basically, to open this, we need to find the combination. And that was the clue, which is... Whiskey. Four, five, one. It's always going to be a three-digit com three combination. Uh, most of these are always going to be the same. But some of them do change. This is one that stays the same. Four, five, one. Wah! And you get 50 coins and a uh, circle of elixir, which is nice. Look at that. Whoa! I don't know up here. You can also break uh, obstacles. So uh, this also shows you there are multiple paths we can go through this game. We could have bashed our way through that, slid our way through that, or walked through it. So yeah. Pretty cool stuff this game. Come up, crouch. He won't get past me, sir. Do you know who we're hunting here? Don't try to take him out alone. But what if no one from the squad is around? You try to make a lot of noise when you die. Knock something over if you can. Bastard. Alright. While they're doing that... Smells like a dead weeper in here. Strangle you out! <laughs> Why'd you pass out? Elixir from today? Shut up. Oh, he's too far up. Stay alert, you worm. Yeah, I can't get him. He's not getting out this way on my watch. All right. Got me the sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> All right, doing good so far. Like I said, no one ever looks up. It's obscene. There are three people here, if memory serves. One up there, one right there, and one below me. There's the other one. Alright. I don't see the other guy. Where's he at? Oh, shit. Oh, you ass hat! You little I was going to strangle him out, but he came over here. Okay, then. Burn. Uh. Uh. They have money, and I need I need money to buy stuffs. Hmm. I was about to drop down and get him. Tell me again what you'll do if Slack John and his Bottle Street Boys jump you. Bug someone else. Alright. Don't turn around. Don't turn, don't turn, don't turn! Don't look over here, don't look over here, don't look over here, don't look over here. Please don't look over here. I'll kill you if you look over here. Fucker looked over here. Fuck! Oh, let's go! I shot you in the ankle! What the hell? That was... <laughs> Whatever, dude. So I know if you drop people in the water, they die. They, uh, they apparently can't swim. Fucker. I tried it, I tried it, I tried to be good, but no! No! They won't let me be good! Oh, fuck you too, mate! Right, let's get through here. 
don't know we need to be stealthy because there's no more enemies. I actually killed them all. Alright, give that, give me that, give me that, give me that, you can read this. Okay. Whoop. Get up here. There's more up here. There we go. Yeah, I could have snuck over here. I could have done that, but no. I had to, I had to be I had to be greedy. Ugh, so annoying. Look at this. Thank you. Get up here. Ugh, fucker. I'm upset now. All right. I only killed three people. That's not that bad. It's not that bad. We, we're, we're still good. We're still good. We're still good. Only kill three people. Actually, more than three. Now I remember just killed two people back there. Fuck. I think I'm at like six. That's okay. It's okay. We're good. We're still good. Hey, Samuel. Over here. Hey, a second. I'm a friend. Whoop. Something. Here it is. All right, let's get the hell out of here. So upset with myself. Hey Samuel, how you doing? I'm Samuel. And I work for some good people who want very much to meet you. Well, they said you'd come out here. I could still hardly believe it. I'll take you to meet them. Just down the river from here. I'm so upset with myself. Ugh. Four people. Kiastolo, that's good. I missed um Eh, not that much money. Only like 30, so not that bad. <sighs> I can replay the mission if I want to. I'll probably do that off screen, but yeah. Grr! Let's go. <laughs> I'm so upset with myself. Fuck. I know I move quicker than my weapon sheath. Okay. Hidden in an old bar on the river, your new allies plan to share with you. Oh, I have plans to share with you. There we go. Meet with, the loyalists in, uh, meet with the loyalists' inner circle to learn what they've got in mind. All right, sure, let's go. I'll kill them all too, motherfuckers. This is the Hound Pits pub, closed for business. Half the district marked off is dead from the plague. We're right under the Lord Regent's nose, and he don't know a thing. Of course, if anyone finds out what we're up to, the Watch will break in with swords drawn. And now that you've escaped, the Lord Regent's going to be tearing the city apart. I'll take you up to meet Admiral Havelock and the rest of the Loyalists. The Admiral's a man to be reckoned with. If anyone can help you find that missing girl, Lady Emily, and clear your name, he can. Alrighty then. And here we are. Alright, before we do that though, what's a little exploration? Oh. His eyes want some monies. Yay, I got a trophy. Dishonored. Go figure. Get up here. Alright, more money. Money says mines. Okay then. There's probably more over there, but fuck that noise. How's it going? Run, 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 run. Don't remember that. Oh well. Divinor. Dock is in. There we go. Alright. This place also gets uh, restocked with uh, supplies as we go through everything. Through the game. This is sort of our uh, uh, hub where we just sort of put our feet up and rest in between missions. But, each time we come back here, there will be more new stuff we can find. I expect they're hard at work in there. Best join them. They'll help you get well. So I'm gonna uh, go ahead and get shit. Right, 
Is there anything over here? I don't think so. What the hell do I knock? Wrong. Whoop! There we go. Ah, there's something. Gimme. Climb. Climb. There we go. Yay! So it's a good place to sort of practice. What we got over here? Or Yeah. Okay. Open. Alright. Get some good shit. Look at that later on. Whoop. There. Attention all citizens. Curfew extends Ugh. from sundown to sunrise unless you are otherwise authorized. Huh. Get there. Violators will Get there. be subject to interrogation and detained when necessary. Remember, the boldest measures are the safest. Uh huh. Oh my! You startled me. That was when. Uh, you could only be Slide. Slide. There we go. All right. That's gonna be it for now. This I'm going to actually. Come back here later, dude. I'll do the get the uh, clear out the place off screen. So it's starting at last, Admiral. He's found. We can continue this later, Lord Pendleton. The man of the hour is here. Corvo, I'm Admiral Havelock, a true servant of the Empire, like you. Until the Lord Regent purged those of us who wouldn't recognize his claim on the throne. And I'm Lord Trevor Pendleton. I represent the nobility in our little group, but we all act as equals here at the Hound Pits pub. This is a momentous occasion, Corvo. I'm going to come out with it. We've been building a coalition of loyalists, aimed at ending the Lord Regent's tyranny and restoring the throne. At risk of execution, we're committed to finding young Lady Emily and seeing her crowned as Empress. We've got big plans, but we can't do any of it without you. We need your skills, your ability in a fight, and in helping us, we're going to help you destroy the men who murdered the Empress. Sorry, you must be exhausted. We can discuss this further after you've recovered. But before you retire, you should introduce yourself to Piero. He's challenging at times, but his industrious mind buys him that right. Ah, right, sure, let's go, let's go yes. talk to Piero. Piero's as much an artist as a technician. All right, we get some more stuff as well. crafting the gear you'll need. Eh. Ooh. Go talk to him, and then Not get We can talk more when you've rested. Nom, 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 nom. Eat all the stuff. Is that a coin? That was a coin. Hey, I got coins. Right, Pierre, what's up, man? I'll be crafting your weapons and gear. All custom work. For you, I will create the tools of a master assassin. No! This cannot happen now. The tank of whale oil's run out. Will you get a new tank from upstairs, please, while I hold this in place? Okay. Be careful. After I loot this place. Stable. When it explodes, there is a terrible mess. Give me this. Give me this, if you want to read it. There you go. And all this stuff. Luckily, we don't have to sell anything, because it just sort of automatically con gets converted into money. Well, I'll do the section. Ugh. There you go, fail experiments. One of these books actually references a, um, <laughs> a marking on the wall to our left. By now, a lot of people will probably know what it references to. Because it's literally right out of our portal. You saw, you saw it on the other side of the wall, too, if you paid attention. Pretty interesting stuff. We're also learning about this nifty gadget. Be useful later on. Basically, uh, refills these tanks. These things explode too, so don't throw them. All right. Perfect. Now plug it in. There you go. Perfect. Thank you, Carl. Here, see the assassin's mask. You're a wanted man, so everyone in the city knows your face. But this. Mask 
terror to them. If you just hold still, the fit must be precise. There. Can you see normally? Send the lens out of alignment. There. Better now? I could create more for you. Upgrades for your gear, weapons, munitions. But our situation here is desperate. Scavenge the city for valuables, and I will resell them on the black market. That should give us the money to craft the things you need. Tell me what I can make for you. Alright, so there is a trophy in this game to go through this entire game without getting any upgrades, especially no upgrades for your uh, supernatural abilities, which we'll find out a little bit later on. So, that's good to know. Now, how I recommend uh, divvying out upgrades. First, focus on Bone and Runes. Uh, bone Charms and Runes. These are your uh, passive abilities as well as your supernatural abilities. They're really helpful. Afterwards, then you start focusing on other stuff. So, first we're going to get this. So we have max on that. I'll upgrade everything else a little bit later on. You must be exhausted. I advise that you get some sleep. Your life will get even more difficult soon. You should rest while you can. Sleep well. I'll be able to um, run around and loot the place properly there. Uh, after all this is done. Fortunately, the stuff that was there before will still be there when I get back. So, yay. Plus, with uh, the supernatural upgrades that we'll be getting soon, I'll be able to uh, explore better. Alright then. We're someplace else, that's for sure. <sighs> I'm stoned. Lovely. Okay, let's get to it then. This looks freaking awesome though, I gotta say. Looks better than the upgrade graphics. Hello, Corvo. Your life has taken a turn, has it not? The Empress is dead. Her precious daughter Emily is lost somewhere in the city, and you will play a pivotal role in the days to come. For this, I have chosen you and drawn you into the void. I am the outsider, and this is my mark. There are forces in the world and beyond the world, great forces that men call magic, and now these forces will serve your will. Use this newfound power, my gift to you. Come find me. Okay, so... This actually does have some uh, interesting background stuff. We have the power of Blink, which allows us to teleport. Fucking awesome. Um, who we just met was the Outsider. He is the um, the boogeyman, the devil of the religion of the Abbey of the Everyman, which is the um, predominant uh, religion here in Kirkwall. Kirkwall? No, that's Thetis, here in Dunwall. Sorry. Um... Basically, they say that anything from the Void is evil, wrong, bad. Anything that has to do with it is, should be exterminated and destroyed. Um, according to, I believe, the myths that the Abbey spreads, the Outsider is a being who is of the Void, but something else. There's a lot of mythology surrounding it, which is pretty cool. Um, I don't think we really truly know who or what he is, though. Supposed to be a something or other over here. Oh well. Basic power. Yeah. You could not save it, you guys. Ah, I get it. It's yeah, disturbing. And that. What well, is this? Okay. Let's see if I can do it. Doing the jumps. There we go. Emily! Grover, I'm very sad. They say to the mother that you're dead like mother. But I'm going to put this note in a bottle and throw it into the river because I do not believe them. Living here is very strange. I do not like it, so please come for me if you can. Ew. You can see a whale in the background. 
Whales are supposed to be um, somehow tied to here as well. We have no fucking clue how though. But this gives us a basic understanding of where the story is going to be. Beginning and then throughout the course of the story. Ooh, almost fell. There we go. Oof. Well, there we are. I think. I don't know. That wheel looks so fucking awesome. Find out more about these guys later on. Oof. That's unnerving. Go. Run, 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 run. Whoop. <laughs> Fall over. I love that I can do that. Basically, that is a um, sort of a clue. Basically, um, whenever we're in the shadows, we're hard to detect. So if we come across candles that are lit, we can blow them out, and we become a little bit hard to detect. Which is helpful. In the days that follow, your trials will be great, Corvo. Seek the ancient runes bearing my mark in the lonely places of your world, and at shrines raised in my name. These runes will grant you powers beyond those of other men. To help you find these runes, I give you this. The heart of a living thing, molded by my hands. With this heart, you will hear many secrets, and it will guide you toward my runes, no matter how they may be hidden. Listen to the heart now, and find another rune. Okay, so we now have a heart, which is helpful, I guess. So basically the heart will uh, beat whenever we're facing a rune. If we press art L2. Okay, that's kind of cool. It comes out of the controller. I thought it was going to be on there. That is really cool. Alright. I knew that. Oh, almost fucked up. Alright, keep going. The heart beats faster the closer we are to something. The closer we are to it. Whoop. Oh god! Ow! I'm okay. Keep going. Hi. With that. Whoop. Whoop. We're okay. We hold L1 to just do that, but it's easy to use the D-pad. So this is what, what one of the altar looks of his altars look like. So runes are what basically augment our power. Sorry, <laughs> augment our powers. Um, we have on there. We have the um, active powers, which are the top ones. Slow time, which slows time. Uh, level two of it will actually stop time, which is pretty helpful. Uh, wind blast, which shoots a wind blast forward. You can use it to knock enemies off cliffs, uh, knock them off balance. Um, upgrade it. We have it's stronger since people are flying farther. We can break down wooden doors. Really helpful. Uh, night eye or night vision, which allows us to see in the dark. Uh, upgrade allows us to see in the dark, as well as highlight um, enemy vision, as well as highlighting um, objects. Uh, rat swarm, which allows us to summon rats. Um, <laughs> upgrade summons more rats for longer. Uh, possession, right before the rat. Uh, we can possess people my or animal minds. Upgrade, we can possess human minds. Blink, basically we can teleport, we can teleport farther. Uh... Bottom left is are the passives, which are active whenever, whenever, or whenever a criteria is met. Bottom left is uh, can't remember what's called. Fuck. But memory serves it basically will um. Oh, shadow kill. There we go. 
it will uh, disintegrate enemies that we kill. Pretty helpful. It makes uh, hiding buys easier. Uh, Frenzy, which allows us to do more damage. Uh, Vitality increases our health and our endurance. And then mobility allows us to move faster and then eventually double jump. We'll go through it later on. Oh, God damn it. So yeah, uh, night vision, yada yada yada. Shadow kill, that was right. Uh, unaware enemies who do not see you turn to ash when they die, and then eventually all enemies die, return to ash when they die. Jump by increased, falling damage reduced, overall movement speed increased. Build up to trigger a brutal, uh, brutal melee fi uh, fatalities. Uh, adrenaline builds faster, earns a double attack for adrenaline kills, and it can be used against multiple enemies within range. So it's pretty helpful. And then you have basically advice on how to use it type of stuff. I advise keep the rune for later on. It'll be, it'll be useful. How you use what I have given you falls upon you, as it has to the others before you. And now I return you to your world, but know that I will be watching with great interest. All in all, in this game, the outsider is my favorite character. He's just so fucking awesome. The outsider is a figure out of myth, neither good nor evil. But if you go with the uh, Abbey of the Everyman, he's evil. He's evil incarnate. He is the devil. Alright, hidden in an old bar. We're not about that. Okay, so. At this point in time, we'll gain access to a bunch of other things as well. So, um, In the original version, this was a part of the DLCs. Uh, the um, uh, extra DLC type of stuff. This base will give us a good amount of money to begin with, as well as give us a uh, boost to certain abilities. These are bone charms, which are passives that we have when we equip them. They're really helpful. Um, the heart, I believe, yeah, they beat as well. And it will tell you where they are, too. That away. This. We'll also get some more um, insight to certain things. The backstory stuff. To get these. Drop that. But these um, symbols, also these uh, artifacts, I guess I'm going to be putting it, will also give us uh, special perks as well. Usually upgrades to uh, perks we already have. Oop, wrong one. Okay, so these are from the DLC, or from the trophies. The trophies, the DLC. Void channel, power effects slightly improve. Why rats won't attack you, why rats are, can be consumed for mana, which is helpful. Uh, keep in mind that bone charms are generally randomized what their effects are going to be. So... I can get stuff that you won't. I can get stuff that uh, you won't get, uh, and you'll get stuff that I won't get. Pretty much. Uh, da -da. But this one is definitely from a DLC, so I'm gonna equip that. That's helpful. All right. That's helpful. Yes. Faster. I'll uh, deal those out later on. But there's already a rune out here. Like I said, I'll come back here later on to actually uh, loot the place properly. Should I clear space for Samuel then? If you like, but he won't use it. You can also use the runes or this the heart. Focus on someone and press L or press the uh, active button, and you will uh, learn about that person. Hello. Well, let's get down to it. First off, I know that assassination is dark business. But sometimes, good men have to do bad things to make the world right. Our purpose is clear. We want to restore Her Majesty's line by finding and putting Emily Caldwin on the throne. To those ends, we'll hide, act in shadow, take them apart, piece by piece. Tonight, High Overseer Campbell dies by your hand. It won't be easy, 
He's protected by his overseers, an army of religious zealots. But if anyone can do it, you can. Your exploits are legendary. Campbell carries a private journal. Once you've eliminated him, get the journal, because we think it contains Emily's location. Recovering her is obviously critical, assuming she's alive. That's the gist of it. Remember our cause and strike true. We're counting on you. All right, then. Another thing. I'll go into more detail about that next set, but first, make sure you talk to Piero. Where the fuck is Piero? There he is. What can I do for you? Because we got a lot of money for the from the pouches, but he sells us a rune right out the get, which is freaking helpful. Add that to the rune that's out there means we have three runes right out the get. Which gives us the ability to at least get up to at least a minimum of two perks if we want to, if we want to do it right. Or we can get possession right now, possess a fish, and uh, possess a fish and gain access to underneath the hound pit. Oop. Corvo. Hello. I'm Callista. I work here for Admiral Havelock. I'm sorry to intrude on your business, but this is important. I suspect you're going to kill the High Overseer. That wretched man. There's really no reason for you to listen to me. But my uncle, Jeff Kurnow, still serves as captain in the City Watch. But he's a good man, and my only family. The chatter in servant circles is that Campbell just took delivery of an exotic poison. And I think I know why. My uncle's not corruptible like the rest of them. Campbell is going to poison my uncle. Do you think you could protect him? You used to do that, right? Before you had your current profession. Before you became an assassin. So basically, each mission will have a side quest. We can do this optional. We can choose to do it. We can choose to ignore it. Whatever we want to do. Pretty awesome. But we get money in favor with the loyalists, which is pretty helpful. But as I was saying earlier, we can get the other uh, rune that's out here, which is over there, possess a fish, and go in here to get a little extra money. Of course, we'll come back here again later on and get inside there, but we won't get the items that are there right now. So it comes out of what you want to do. Anyway, that's going to be it for this set. Next set, we'll continue on and do two more missions, and I'll see you then. Till then, have a wonderful day, and I hope you're looking forward to some Dishonored. Bye-bye. <laughs> Hello and thank you for watching the video, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you really like this video, feel free to like and subscribe. If you'd like to see some of my other videos, feel free to click one of the links. Hope you guys have a wonderful day, bye!